Hey guys, welcome to another fun tutorial. Uh, this one will be in Cinema 4D. Um, I don't know if you guys know or not, I've been doing an everyday project. Um, I'm about 157, 58, 158 days in. And uh, if you want to follow me, I'll put a link and you can kind of find me on Instagram or Facebook. Plan the new Fallout 4 game. And uh, for one of my everydays, I thought, I'm going to do some bottle caps. So I was thinking in my head how to do that, how to make a bottle cap in. Cinema 4D pretty quick and easy because it's, it's an everyday. I don't want to put too much time into it. I think I figured out a pretty quick way to make some bottle caps that you don't have to go into sculpting or anything too much and just real quick and easy. So uh, here we go. So here we are in uh, Cinema 4D and what you want to start off with is just uh, make a disc. Uh, go here and make a cylinder. And uh, so the idea here is to, let's, see, let's make our radius of the cylinder. A little bit bigger, probably around, probably around 70, looks about right. Because um, this is playing the role of the uh, bottle, the glass bottle that the uh, lid fits around. Um, that's about right. Let's bring our height down to about probably 10. Let's go make it even 10. Because I'm OCD like that. All right. And let's make it have a little bit of a cap, not much. Maybe like two. Uh, so it's fine. Five's fine. <laughs> let's pull our disc above our cylinder here. Let's go to display. Click so we can see our lines here. Um, we're going to need a little bit more polygons, not too much more, but you know, a little bit more. Let's um, let's go 15 disc, and uh, we want to have a little uh, smoother look to it when it when we're creating our bottle cap. So let's go ahead and make these square as possible. So let's bring our rotation segments up. Let's see, I think 80 should do. So they're squarer, not perfect squares, but they are squarer, which will help us uh, in the end here, get our shape right. All right, so now we've got our disc and our cylinder here. <clears throat> now what's left is to right click, simulation, cloth, go to our cylinder, right click, simulation, cloth collider. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, hold down control and click our disk and drag it down to make a copy of that and we'll alt click and turn that off. So we'll have at least a copy of our disk because we're fixing to make it editable by pushing C. Now it's editable. All right, now all we gotta do is hit play. Okay, and you wanna stop it at a point where you think it looks pretty well bottle cap like. Uh, you're probably thinking it looks a little crusty and whatnot right, right now and you're right. So hold on alt. Click our disk, hold down Alt, click um, and add a subdivision surface to it, which smooths out a lot of the edges. Um, and what I do is just hit play and kind of stop it where it looks most bottle cap. Like, <laughs> like right about there looks pretty good. Um, rendering kind of seal a better shape. And that, you can see we're trying, we're getting there. So now click both of these and Alt G <laughs> to make a group out of it. Tap. Uh, Control, click down to make a copy of it. Turn this one off so we have a original copy just to be safe. And then uh, on our cap group here, I just go over here to uh, throw it in a connect. So it's one thing. And then I uh, just make it editable. There you go. So now we have one whole bottle cap. <clears throat> Turn our lines off now. So let's go to our materials here. Go ahead and double click, make a new material. Double click again. Color. Let's get all this out of here, make it a red. Tone there, reflectance. Let's go add a GGX and our uh, layer mask. Let's go ahead and make a uh, Fresnel. Um, turn it down a little bit so it's not too too much. Um, and then we'll copy that right there. We'll call this base, and we'll call this Luca. I already made a Nuka Cola logo thing here, so what I will do is go to here, um, go to Alpha. It's a PNG, so it has no nothing around it except for the red circle. Drop it on our Alpha here. All right, then go to our color and uh, drop this into the color. That's done. Let's go to the base. We'll go ahead and put that on our bottle cap here. Yep. And then uh, we'll close that. We'll go to our mm, top view. So um, 
click that to go to top view, click this to go top view, okay. Um, click that so we can get a hold of all the polygons here. All right, so now let's make, let's uh, right bracket our uh, live selection up here. We're in polygon mode here. Uh, make a circle selection, try to make it pretty even. Uh, I know there's better ways of doing that probably. <laughs> Anyways, take our new color, drop it on top. Go back to our uh, regular view here. Turn off, uh, let's go back to model mode. All right, and let's take that Nuka Cola thing. Let's go ahead and make it, let's shrink it down in size because it's a little too big. Let's go 60 by 60. Turn off tiling, so it doesn't tile. Let's go to our UV mode. And we'll just move this over and move it down a little bit to where it's more in the center. All right, back to model mode. And uh, we'll click, we'll call this sky, new material. Open that up, turn the color off, reflectance off, luminance on, something. <laughs> Just to give it some reflect off of right now. And uh, let's give it a sky. Drop that onto our sky material. It's gonna look terrible, so I'm gonna do a turn off <laughs> scene by camera. And let's take a look. Nice. You got yourself a bottle cap. And what I did also was I made a new material, color reflectance off alpha. And I had made in Photoshop a PNG of uh, scratches based from a metal, just a metal texture, to, you know, thing. I made it black and white, I crunched the levels down, and then I took out all the white. So just the black was left, leaving us this nice texture to overlay things with. Um, and so I dropped the PNG on to the alpha. It makes it like that. I come to color and I make it almost black. Then I drop that on top of everything on the cap. And that gives us this look. So it's looking grungy and worn, which is nice. And then uh, the last thing I did was on our base, I went to the bump channel. Threw the same texture on the bumps. No. Uh, go 8% or so. Go to Nuka. Do the same. Same thing there, so it matches. They look like two different textures. Uh, we have eight. All right. Let's look at it again. Got a little bit of bump, a little bit of warmness to it. And then the, uh, the last thing I did was uh, take the cap and just throw it in a cloner. Let's create a floor. Let's create a floor. Uh, we'll make this a collider body. Let's make our cap a rigid body. Uh, let's go ahead and do radial, set it uh, account to like, let's go eight. All right, and the radius can go up a bit. Let's go ahead and make a random vector so it won't look so so put together. Um, let's drag our cloner up. All right, let's hit play. Oops, they just clouded with everybody, hang on. Let me get enough to do here. Let's, let's set this to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, force, follow, position, rotate. Interesting. All right, <laughs> render, and there you go. Some new Cola bottle caps. Um, that, that's about it. You can uh, add more detail, of course, by making the underside of the bottle cap something different and maybe a cloth nerve, make it a little thicker if you wanted to or whatever you want to do. But that was just kind of how I made a fast uh, bottle cap that once you clone, you're good. It's a bunch of different clones. I think I actually did three different kinds. I did that cloth overlay fall thing. So I had three different uh, styles of bottle caps. So they don't look all too identical, which you can't really tell when you're looking at it like that with a bunch of bottle caps together. But uh, just for my sake, I went ahead and did three of those different. So a little bit different differentiation there. Put my logo on top of one, nickel on the others, and just. All right, so that about does it for this tutorial. Uh, it's just kind of a fun thing I, I came up with, but it's worth sharing. 
So I will catch y'all in the next tutorial. Y'all take care. I am Trey Trimble, and thank you for watching. I'm <laughs> sorry.